In this video, I'll show you how you can layer the full body IK nodes and speed up the posing process. I start off with the rest pose, then I pose in the fingers. Next, I go for the upper body and get everything in position. The third step gets all the feet in the right position. Then the fourth step is the final tweaks onto the hip. By organizing your posing workflow into steps, we can be way more organized and way more efficient. This will speed up the entire process. Basic concept number four, layering IK nodes into steps. Now let's start by setting our anchor points. I'm gonna drop down a blast node. Set this to points, delete non-selected. So just like what was shown in basic concepts number two. Okay, I'm gonna choose this neck, the spine. This is the last bone in the spine just because I don't want this part of the body to move and I definitely do not want the feet to move. So I'm gonna add the two feet. Let me also make this a little larger. And these are gonna be my anchor points. Let's drop down that full body IK node. Now hook this all up. In the full body IK node, remember to set this map using two, so the match by attribute name. This will ensure that we can reuse the same skeleton bone naming with and avoid doing bone remapping. Now we'll need two fingers. We'll need this thumb and this, the index finger. These two fingers will curl up into an okay symbol that will look like this. This is the hand position that we're aiming for, this OK hand symbol that Eric's gonna make. Through the camera view, through the viewport, we can see Eric's left eye through the OK symbol made by the hand. So this is gonna be separated into two steps once we get into the layering process, but I wanna show you how it's done with only what we've taught from basic concepts one through three without the layering. And I wanna show you the advantage of using the layering and how much faster and more efficient. Literally, sometimes it's it's impossible to pose certain poses without the layering. You'll love the layering just because it speeds up the posing process so much, but it's not only just that, it's sometimes it's you have to have it. So let's start without the layering process and see how we can, how far we can get. Okay, so let's isolate some more points because I need the thumb. Okay, let's merge this. Okay, let's pick that thumb. I want this thumb and I want the index finger. So those two. Okay, now let's drop the rig pose. So these are the fingers. Now let's curl those fingers up. So this guy's gonna curl in. Now this is something I want you to notice. When I start curling his thumb, that whole part of that arm starts moving. Let me continue on. You can see that this part of the arm starts moving. And that's the advantage of using the full body eye kit because Houdini's trying to guess the rest of the skeleton for you so you can have an easier process. But sometimes we don't want to do that. I mean, in basic concept number three, we've learned that we can use priority to help fix certain points. But remember, I don't want to fix this elbow point because I'm going to end up moving the elbow later on. The elbow needs to be able to be flexible enough to move. So we can't fix that as a priority. Okay, I think that's really good. Okay, next step is to get the hand in position. So let's pick the hand. We need to add another IK bone. Okay, delete non-selected, choose points. Now let's choose that hand over here. Drop down the rig pose node. I'm going to merge this in. Now let's take that hand. Let's modify it the position so that we end up getting the hand in this right through the eye. Okay, I'm just going to drag it over, turn it around. Now, th this is something I want you to notice already. It's starting to show our OK symbol on the hand is completely destroyed. It it's all the stretching and everything. It it's all chaos going on. That's because the hand is trying to move everything else. So it, it's literally almost impossible to get this in the right position without messing up everything else. Let's get it in position first. Okay, let's just get it as close as we can. And let's see what we can do and fix up the fingers. Okay, it's rather difficult because once you start, like the hand has moved so much and destroyed so much of the fingers that it's literally impossible. So this is where I'm going to give up and, and stop because it's really hard to get 
the fingers to stay in that OK symbol sign and get the hand in the right position where we want it. This brings us to layering the full body IK node. So let's just put this aside. I'm just going to keep some of these nodes. So we have that same setup here. Now, first, let's do the same thing. Let's get the fingers in the OK position. Throw down a blast node. I'm going to choose the thumb and the index. Hook our IK controls to the full body IK node. And I'm going to drop down a rig pose node. Okay, let's start positioning. The whole, whole thing starts moving, doesn't it? I forgot to add in some anchor points. Now, again, I'm going to choose the same anchor point. That's this spine, because from here on, I don't want anything to move. So the spine and the feet. Uh, merge this in. Hook this to the full body IK. Now let's try that OK symbol. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Instead of adding more stuff to this, merge into this set. We're going to create another full body IK. And we're going to stack it, sort of layer it on top. So it, it, the setup will look almost identical to everything you see up here. It'll just be another set of this, but it'll be layered down here, down in this uh, bottom side. And we're going to throw down another blast node because we want to select our full body IKs for the second set. And which one do I want to set is the hand. That's because the, I want the hand in position. We have the OK symbol now. Now we need the hand to be in the right orientation. So I'm going to select the hand. And I'm going to hook this up to the same setup as we had it in the uh, how we usually do it for the full body IK, the second input of the full body IK. Come in here. Now remember, we still need that same option here, this uh, mapping option for the full body IK. So remember to set that to match by attribute. This way we avoid any bone remapping and makes life just so much easier. So we finish it off by connecting the first output to the joint deform node. Now we drop down a little rig pose node. Now let's start moving that hand. Oh, the whole skeleton moves. Now what am I missing again? I still need anchor points. This is a new set that we're layering down, another set of full body IK. We still need another to select another group of anchor points. We have to select, even if it's the same anchor points, we have to select it again. So this setup has to be identical, almost identical to this setup. Let's drop down another blast node. Okay, we're going to take this and hook it up to the blast node. This node will have the same anchor points as this node. Because we're, we're trying to do, um, we, we still need those parts of the body locked down. So we're going to select this neck, or, or the spine, the top of the spine, and then the, the feet. Now let's merge this all together, like how we usually do it, and plug it into the full body IK. Render flag here, and let's try this again. Let's try to move that hand again. Okay, much better. I mean, yeah, it's still moving a lot just because we have not put any priority. There's no priority set. But let's try this without priority first. I mean, it does help to put priority down. It, it, but let's try it without it first. And I want you to see how much easier this is. Okay, that was so much easier. And look at this. The fingers are still doing that okay sign. Like, we can improve this a lot. Like, we can still... But the thing is, it's so much easier since we have this... This, this layering of this full body IK, this first layering. Okay, so let me just hook this up there and then ignore these nodes just for a second. This gets the left hand, all the fingers of the left hand in the position of, and makes that OK symbol. So we get that OK symbol first. Then the next step is to position the hand where we want it by putting this, uh, organizing this into two steps. By separating the pose into steps, we first create the OK finger pose and then later on add an additional full body IK node. This will make it easier for the IK node to make its calculations based on a new starting point. It's like running a marathon race and you pass the baton to your team members after completing a portion of the course. The course can be divided evenly with your team members, making the task much easier for everyone. I'm not sure if this is the best analogy, but that's how I think of it when it comes to layering the full body IK node into steps. 
This workflow is amazing when it comes to organizing the poses into steps because everything is non-destructive. We can change the fingers into a different pose or even add additional posing steps without the need to redo any previous work. This is a very non-destructive workflow, the Houdini way of rigging. If you have a really complex pose that involves positioning a lot of limbs, you can organize it into parts of the body and pose each part one at a time. In this example, I'm trying to pose Eric so that he's about to jump up or launch himself up into the air, like he's about to dive into a swimming pool or jump off a curb. This pose was done by splitting the task into different parts by organizing each step by the different limbs involved. The main shape of the body was formed in the first step by bending the spine and legs. The pelvis was used to adjust the forward leaning motion of Eric. Next came the feet, where I'm trying to get the feet flat on the ground and have the legs spread out a bit. The hands are rotated towards them to give Eric the feeling that he's about to launch himself forward. The head is oriented so he's looking forward towards his goal. Let's go over another example of Eric doing a high kick pose. I split the pose into different steps, starting off with the fingers making a fist, then move on to the upper body, then lower body, and finally tweaking the spine to give Eric some attitude in the pose. In the first step, the fingers are all curled up to make a fist for both hands. This step probably took the longest to complete because I needed to rotate each finger inwards to the palm. Let's take a closer look at the rig poses for the fist. I had organized all the rotations of the fingers into four main groups. The thumb is all by itself because it needed a bit more manual rotations to get it to look right. The rest of the rig poses are based on the joint depth of the fingers. For example, the tip of the fingers are rotated in the second rig pose node. Then the middle joints of all the fingers are rotated in the third rig pose node. Lastly, the knuckles of all the fingers are rotated in the last rig pose node. Then the arms are rotated so they are directed towards the front in a punching stance pose. The feet are lifted up and put into a high kick mode. The spine is slightly adjusted to give Eric a cool attitude feel. I hope you like this layering process as much as I do. I find this extremely helpful in posing my characters. Next week, we'll take a closer look at the full body IK node and see how rotations are inherited down the skeleton joint by joint. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end.